So, ah, kuna stima. Nyambura, I had gone to get her mask because I don't her, um, her, whatever. Anyway, that's not important. So, let's talk about our bodies first. Because to me talk about our bodies, saying how you should listen to your bodies and, and, um, know when your body is communicating to you. Let's, so let's talk a little bit about our bodies before the end. Um, let me text someone. Mm. Nice. So, talk to you later. So, our bodies have not yet evolved to hear what's happening everywhere. Okay? So, we are not in a state as a collective, as humans, where we are evolved to see everything we see or to hear everything we hear from the palm of our hands. We are seeing too many things in the palm of our hands whereby we have not evolved yet to that position. Let me take someone else also. Um, let me tell someone I'm back live also. Quick one. So like I was saying, our bodies have not evolved enough to hear the things we hear with our headphones through the palms of our hands. Our bodies have not evolved enough to see the amount of stuff we see with our eyes on our palms. Okay, We are seeing too many nudity. We are seeing too much porn. We are seeing too much violence. For no reason, mtu wameka posta hapo watu wamefanya kitumbaya ti. Sijui how many people perish, sijui basi ya mapi. We are, we are not evolved yet to hear or see everything we are seeing on our phones. is too fast by design. Okay? So the information in this internet age, though it's amazing in so many other ways, like all things, but we have to understand our relationship with the social media. We have to understand our relationship with the internet. This is something that we need to start talking about. Do you have a pen? Yeah, it's right here. Our nervous systems, that which helps us to regulate our emotions here, okay, has not evolved enough to hear everything that is happening in every corner of the world. Unamuka unasikia sijui watoto wapi wamefanywa sijui Gaza mavado. Unamuka sijui unasikia adhi kuek sijui Taiwan. Iwe huko Taiwan, iwe ikuhusu. Unamuka unasikia sijui volcano. No, we have not evolved yet to that point of we are listening to too much. We are seeing too much from the palms of our hands. The other day I was talking to someone. They told me a story. Wakaniambi, ah, unajua ni kuwa mahali. Nikasikia story. Oh, mtu walitoa kichu wa theka rodi kakatu wa narori. I was like, ah, why are you telling me this now? Why would you even feel like, why would you, I do understand. But why? That's none of my business. That's not even a good way to, especially me knowing that I already know the situations and circumstances that would force someone who's traveling Mercury in a car public, on a road, ley line, with oncoming cars, fault line, for his head, Yahweh, Aries, to be separated from his body, esoterically speaking. So, social media is creating a situation where this is too much trauma. That is why I tell you, your mind, your brain, okay, your brain Everything you see is an extension of your brain. Because remember, your brain receives. 
you receive sight. So everything you are receiving is an extension of what is in your awareness. There you have taken the weight of the world. Our bodies today are in a constant state of fight or flight. Nasi vita yako, but umepewa maneno watu wamepigwa inakuhusu nini wewe? You want to fight for Palestine. You want to stand with Norway na uko Kenya hata passport auna. So our bodies are in a constant state of fight or flight. Everyone is feeling overwhelmed because of what we are consuming. Now you hit the Al Shabab. All of a sudden now you hit those uh, those uh, uh, pastorates but you do you don't know the story on the ground neither to napewa can use so start viewing the world as completely unsafe let me tell you the world is very safe unajua ni mara ngapi mimi atu tunalalanga kama hatujafunga mlango kama tumesahau very many times sometimes i wake up and call monjiro am try unajua tulala kama hatujafunga mlango Like, oh my God, I'm like, of course nothing will happen, but we should lock the door. You get what I'm saying? So you start to view the world as being very unsafe. You start looking at the world like the world is very hostile because your body doesn't get to recover. You don't get to that recovery mode that you are supposed to be for it to thrive. So you are never thriving because every time you get a notification, some boy has, has his head crashed, CG on what road. We don't need to know that. Hiyo ni yake those are his karmas whatever he went through hiyo ni yake Okay so On Minecraft mm. there's there's usually survivor mm -hmm. creative mm -hmm. and richer So mm. if you choose survival mm -hmm. um, some, an, some animals might attack you mm -hmm. or see creatures of ghost there are usually those kind of things or a monster If you're in creative, they mm. can't harm you. You can only build anything you want and you can kill whatever you want. When you're in nature, you can you're in survival mode, you can create and you can also build. So you said on Minecraft there is survival mode? Yes, survival, and, uh -huh. creative, creative and nature. What, wait, what and wait, is it nature or what? Okay. Okay. Where, where you usually go and choose a world oh where you go and you decide the world to go into yeah the, the, not a world uh. actually like if you want christmas you go to christmas halloween you go to halloween now nyambura that is a very important message you see how you just said it that if you want christmas you just go to christmas you see these games they are very spiritual how they create the games you see in this world if you want to experience happiness you become happiness so if you want halloween you go into halloween in the games indio mm. shout out but for not, huh? but not in real life not in real life so shout out to nyambura there's a reason she had to come and and add on to that so amesema vizuri sana you say that when you're in survival mode you can be attacked by animals yes and on maybe, minecraft on the game yes. but when you are creating You can You cannot be attacked. Yes, you can you can attack them but you can't at be attacked. You can attack them but you cannot at uh, uh, be, Yeah. Okay. The animals and the cre Okay, those creatures or insects, they can't attack you. They can't attack you when only you are creating. If, only if there's a hacker in uh, that game that uh, is a person uh, that can hack you. Okay. Thank you. Only that. Only that. So, this is exactly what I was talking about. When you're in a fight or flight mode, survival mode, Anything can come to you. Yeah. Nyambura alikuwa anasikiza alikuwa anachora ametuambia. But when you are creating, when you are in a in a parasympathetic place or when you're in a state of what you can call uh parasympathetic, I think that is the word, or when you're in a state of thriving. So when you are creating, you are thriving. See when you are creating, you are thriving. When you are creating, when you are going after your dreams, your imaginations, you are thriving. Okay? So when you are thriving, When you are not in fight or flight you cannot be attacked. When you are creating driving you cannot be attacked. You can do whatever you want. That's on Minecraft. I told you whatever the children are watching is what you should be watching and understanding. Understand these things how they are programming the children. So I showed you Minecraft you saw me attacked. Yeah. So just as it is important for you to be connected and know what's going on in the world it's good to be connected and to know what is happening in the world it's also equally important to be disconnected so sometimes learn to switch off your wifi and disconnect sit down and meditate and to be in stillness with friends or peace okay because you cannot change anything around us 
if you are not regulated or if you, if you are unable to to cope shout out to minecraft give me five boom so we cannot change anything around us if our emotions are not regulated or if you have us lashing out or shutting down or if you are nine people are watching that's enough even if it's two people it's only bad about the number of people who are watching okay do you feel like you can disconnect from the social media for a date for a day also tell me how has social media impacted you that kind of information do you notice that people around you are stuck in fight or flight from over consuming let me know in the comments if that is something that you are dealing with Nisasa. so i was about to go and then nyambura came with the mask and can be i had gone for the mask we have to finish this life so your life is a reason to me yongeza kwa sababu mesikia nyambura amekuja ametufunza about minecraft out of nowhere now we know ametukumbusha ametukumbusha each one teach one so now i have to go for real do have a beautiful day each one teach one and idayo and i'm going to watch minecraft you are going to watch minecraft yeah i'm going to play and when you play minecraft you are going to be driving sindio yes you are not going to be on survival mode i am i'm going to try and survive you are going to try and survive mm. sawa ciao ciao dayo see ya